these are the things I don't like about Mac OS I have a dual monitor setup as you can see uh, this is my primary display and this is my uh, secondary display this is a Dell uh, 1400p monitor and uh, the problem I have is I cannot turn off a display when I need uh, yes I can uh, close the lid like this but uh what if i need to play some audio from the speaker uh, it's still the audio comes but uh, it's not as good as uh, like this so uh, there is no option to turn off uh, one display uh, we can put uh, put sleep to mac uh, sleep this uh, or both displays uh, using hot corners but that that is not a solution because both displays will uh, turn off and the other option is i can uh, switch the audio to the external mo external monitor uh, the, this monitor have an option like that so when we switch uh, as you can see when we switch the audio device to tell and as you can see we cannot control the volume that that's bullshit because even windows 7 i think in, in windows xp you can do that in uh, mac os you cannot control the volume uh, yes you can control uh, volume uh, from individual apps but sometimes some uh, app or some video or something make 100 percent volume and it will disturb a lot we cannot control volume over hdmi or display port that is a very big disadvantage uh, from mac os uh, sarah i Thing, I believe or more Marvels or some older versions there uh, is a tool like Soundflower that uh, create a virtual audio device and you can control the volume but in the latest Mac OS era it is not working so I lost uh, the ability to control uh, volume or HDMI or display port and uh, I'm a Windows user for 10 plus years uh, previously uh, just before Windows 10 launch i moved to mac and the things i like about this operating system is the window management it, it, it is super cool and uh, you can have as many as windows uh, in both monitors uh, you can switch uh, each windows easily so you can work concentrate on your work but uh, the ability to snap windows is uh, very limited uh, you can uh, hold uh, this button this uh, green button to snap a window like this and if you have another window on the same desktop you can snap that but uh, the wind the windows 7 like uh, feature that is uh, when a window is open it will look like this uh, you can uh, drag that window and uh, go to the top side it will expand uh, for this feature alone we need to purchase a an application uh, as you can see a, you can snap like this snap like this so we need to uh, purchase another application like a uh, windows snap tool or something uh, so there is another way to do that in default in by default if you know uh, there is any shortcuts or something please let me know in the comment section and the the next annoying thing is uh, when we are in finder uh, we cannot uh, have this option right click uh, right click to cut uh, or just a second uh, right right click a folder and cut or copy there is no option uh, by default you can use uh, keyboard shortcuts but uh, it's nice to have an option like this and you cannot create a new file uh, by right clicking uh, yeah, yes you can see uh, now uh, there is another tool I installed it is free it's called extra finder but you need to go to uh, uh, terminal uh, in the recovery mode and need to type some commands to enable uh, th this application this is extra finder I'm using the, you can see that you can have tabbed uh, views sorry tab uh, windows in finder and there is uh, some tools uh, that will help us to 
make this OS experience much better. Uh, so my tools, my the my uh, top two tools is uh, better snap tool and extra finder. But uh, the sound flow was uh, in my list, but in latest Mac OS era it is stopped working. So now I cannot control volume or HDMI or uh, display port, and I cannot uh, turn off one display. Uh, let me know if you know how to do that okay anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is vishnu bye